Thomas Jefferson was one of our nation's founding fathers and the founding father of the University of Virginia. Little did he know that one day his school would sign a declaration of indestructibility. In less than a decade for the Cavaliers, George Welsh has gained independence from losing. His pass-and-run patriot, Sean Moore, is gaining support in the Heisman race, and Virginia is ranked number one from the original 13 colonies to the rest of the country. Ross has started a revolution at Georgia Tech. His Yellow Jackets have not been stung with defeat this year. Their defense is one of the stingiest in the states. And today they'll be out to overthrow Virginia and take a bite out of its Cinderella season. Today America will find out if number one Virginia is for real. It's the Cavs and the Rambling Wreck coming up next. CFA Saturday, we welcome you to the lush Piedmont of Charlottesville, Virginia. It's the battle of Sean's today. Sean Jones is the quarterback for Georgia Tech. Sean said yesterday he loves big games. He thrives on them. Here are the running backs you're going to see. Stephen Scott, mostly a running back, and William Bell. He's back there with Edwards and Wright. The receivers, Emmett Merchant, their leading receiver, along with Rodriguez, and Tom Covington is the junior tight end from Hempstead, New York. the 25 tackled by Keith McMahon the offensive line is a strength for Virginia Tech there's a redshirt sophomore good feet that's Billy Chubbs he has got on both sides of him two great big guys Lavin is 280 pounds Cipri is 275 both are very experienced Cipri's the captain this week then there's Jenkins and Mooney probably the two best McMeans makes the first tackle at second and five Play action, and Jones completes it to Bobby Rodriguez for a first down. Zipped it in there at the 35-yard line. Let's check out now the Virginia Cavalier defense. Ron Carey, nuts and bolts, kind of strong backs guy. Not overly talented, but he doesn't make many mistakes. Reynolds and Hall on both sides of him. Reynolds on the contained side. Chris Slade, watch him all day. He is a rough guy. They've compared him already to LT. There's Jackson Achillian, the youth and probably the weakness of the defense right now. First and ten. Pullback, Scotton. For a gain of two, Chris Slade made the tackle for Virginia. An excellent secondary for Virginia. Jason Wallace at one corner. Tony Covington. He loves to talk and fire up his teammates. He's at the other corner. Tyrone Lewis and Keith McMeans are... That's relaying signals from the coaching staff upstairs. Short punt by Aldridge. Fair catch called. And it's grabbed on the bounce by Covington. That's a legal play because it was his own man. Watch the up back, the blocking back, as he steps in front. And in order, trying to protect it, it actually hits the helmet. That's Stacy Parker. Smart play by Covington, and Virginia is ready. George Welch knows it's the biggest game he's ever coached in. It's his 100th game at Virginia. Now, here's that offense you've heard about all season long. First and ten for the Cavaliers. Run, run, run. Terry Kirby straight ahead for three. Sean Moore leads the country in passing. He is number one in pass efficiency. He's won his last 17 starts, too. Dave Sweeney, the blocker. Terry Kirby, the runner. And he'll be spelled by Nicky Fisher. Herman Moore, it's been well documented how dangerous he is as a wide receiver. And Derek Dooley, not an overly talented guy, but has a knack for getting open. Tight ends Mark Cook. Derek Dooley, the son of Vince Dooley, the longtime Georgia coach. Second and six. Kirby again. 
Setting up about third and three as Jeremiah McClary made the tackle. Trevor Riles, smart, good hands, senior. On both sides of him, Stearns and Tomlin. Tomlin was a backup last year. Relatively inexperienced. Stearns is a converted defensive tackle. And then the big guys, Collins and Roberts. Roberts is 6'6", 300 pounds. Third, and we'll call it three, as Nikki Fisher has come into the game. And Kirby goes in motion. Moore's first pass is complete to Kirby. Into Georgia Tech territory. Virginia had last week off Island although you get rest of your players you can get them healthy it takes away your momentum and Welsh was concerned about his passing game he says you may lose rhythm so right away he goes to the fail safe pass high percentage to his back out of the backfield and they pick up the first from the Georgia Tech 47 straight back here comes the blitz Moore gets away tough pass Moore is there yards as Sean Moore threw across his body to Herman Moore. First they came with the pressure and they got it from Holmes but he didn't lock his arm. Here's the escapability of Sean Moore. Now they wanted to get Herman Moore on some of the cornerbacks defense because they got a yard deep in that offensive backfield establishing a line of scrimmage unless the linebackers fill. Second and goal full house backfield with Sweeney Kirby and Fisher. On the sneak, touchdown, Virginia. Turning point for Georgia Tech was that big win against Maryland, too. They won it big. Second and five out of the eye. They go back to Bell. Chris Slade again. Watch the top of the screen. That's number 85. That's Slade. That's the guy we've been talking about. Comes down the line, takes on the blocker. Watch the play still gets up and makes the tackle. Just William Bell should never go down with a one-arm tackle, but that's how strong Slade is. It's a big-time play. He's only a sophomore. Third and five. Slade comes in on Jones. And Mike Mooney makes the recovery. Well, they call it an incomplete pass, Jim. Here's a guy that had 17 sacks last year. He's got eight this year. Started the season a little bit slowly because he had an ankle problem. But again, look, just use a stutter step, gets rid of the blocker. Here he comes, Chris Slade. Remember that name. Pro scouts look at him and they say he's the equivalent at that age of Lawrence Taylor, who played at North Carolina. As good as it is now on the other side. Back to you guys. Yeah, they outproduced that 77 scoring drought in the first game this year. 59 in their opening victory. First down play, running the option, Moore flips it now, here comes Kirby. Inside of the 30. Now this Tech defense did not allow a touchdown until the 20th quarter of the season. Last quarter of the fifth game. Marco Coleman, a sack specialist. Marlon Williams, strong secondary with Clay and Holmes. Balkum and Swilling. Fisher's in the game, second and six. That's the tailback. Herman Moore. First 
first down, Virginia. That will bring out Jake McInerney for a 27-yard field goal attempt. He's missed only twice this year. Kick on that angle is good. Under four minutes to go in the first. Number one, Virginia is leading 10 to nothing. Third and 11. Complete for a first down. Johnny Wilson on the reception. A gain of 14. And Moore is dominating. On fourth and two, they deliberated, going for it, but they're going to attempt a 51-yard field goal. McInerney going for a school record. He's got it. They're moving the football, but they face third and two here. Pitch to right. Has the first inside the 30. Chris Slade drags him down at the 28-yard line, along with Vincent Goodwin. Every He'll run for it. Jones has the first down. And the touchdown for Georgia Tech. Sean Moore. You and I looked at each other. We said, oh, come on. Second and eight. Play action. Looking long. Herman Moore is out there. Second and eight. Midway second quarter. Option pitch to Fisher. Here he goes. To the one. Same play, a sneak in the first quarter. Second and goal. There it is again. Touchdown once again for Virginia. And the Cavs are going to go for two. to seven Virginia hoping to bring the edge to 14 Georgia Tech wasn't sure he even got in they didn't think he broke the plane and then more fumbled Georgia Tech thought they had the ball back but he did break the plane there was no hesitation at all from the side judge when he signaled Virginia's three for three this year on two-point conversions And they're going to start to fade out of this picture quickly. So this has to be a productive drive with only 535 remaining in the first half. Second and one. Throwing for it. Throwing for it all. He's open. Back. He is indeed. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. Jerry Gilchrist. a spear job either. I mean, he didn't come in looking for the head. And Kirby right to the 50. You see number two come to the near side, Terrence Tomlin. Third down, seven to go. There's Tomlin. First down, Virginia. Trips to the right. Second and goal. Moore runs with it and scores for the third time today. The second half, and their offense has not been stopped. Five possessions, five scores, three touchdowns, and two field goals. Look at the bottom statistic. Georgia matchups talking about Herman Moore. And on 
first down. Sean Moore right, right in the option. Fumbles the football to start out the second half. And Tech's all over it. Calvin Tiggle. Calvin Rudolph, number 92. Watch him ride the blocker down. He forces Moore to cut back inside before he's ready to. And then his own player's foot knocks it loose. And then Georgia Tech gets it back. It's Paul Collins. But the play was made by Coleman Rudolph. Attack effectively. First and 15. Play action. And a completion at the 13. Greg Lester. Second down, five to go. Here comes the reverse. Gilchrist. He has scored one touchdown, make it two. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. His dad played at Georgia Tech, then played with the Pats and the Dolphins, so he was raised in a football family, understands it. He's a good player, 250 pounds, moves very, very well. He's named after Tonto Coleman, who was a Tech coach. Tonto Coleman right now, the heat seeker. ACC's leading sacker. Third down, four. Wide open. Derek Dooley. Look at him fight to the 42-yard line. Third down, seven to go. Four across the middle. And a first down for Virginia. Herman Moore just worked his way in between the linebacker and safety. Stepping back now, looking for Dooley in the end zone. the number one team in America. Second down, nine to go. Intercepted. Here comes Tech. It's Tiggle. Right off the hands of Nicky Fisher. Tiggle with a fumble recovery and an interception in this quarter. Big fake. Jones keeps. And picks up seven. Now it's third and ten. Drop pass. Emmett Merchant. Son of Coach Bill Curry. Good punt by Garno. And McGill races to the 46 of Virginia. 47-yard punt, 10-yard return. First down. First down to the 34-yard line, William. Second down, three. The man is open. It's Merchant. He holds on. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. Swan tight catch. Great concentration by Emmett Merchant, the junior. Maybe has two turnovers this half. They're trying for more. First down play. Fake the reverse, looking for Herman Moore. Herman Moore's got a step on Swilling. He's got the ball and a touchdown for Virginia.
play here, third and three from the Virginia 38-yard line. Throwing for it and getting it at the 30. Still on his feet. It's Lester. Look at Lester go to the 17-yard line. Break your concentration. Got to maintain your poise. Keith Lyle is in the secondary as well for Virginia. This is closing seconds of the third. First and goal, Georgia Tech. William Bell. Wow. Driving in. Score it. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. Jim, a couple of things to watch here. First of all, 17 is Tom Covington. Watch the job he does to get a block and kick out Covington. Okay, now watch this. Boom, just take on Keith Lyle, 25. He's just a freshman. Keith Lyle is the guy that just came in to replace the All-American McMeans, and he just got driven into the end zone. Watch it again. It's double coverage on Herman Moore. Herman sees these two guys and actually splits them with his long stride. Watch him come through the two of them and gets by. But the ball's underthrown. And here comes Willie Clay with what he thought was the interception. Well, you can't... I didn't see it hit the ground from that angle. But his body blocked the view, so let's check another angle now. All right, this angle will be able to see the ball a little bit better. He lays out, has the ball. Boy, that ball is in his right hand. He's got it. That's, that should be an interception. Garno, with pressure, gets it away. McGill. Down at the 28-yard line. First time Georgia Tech has the football with the game tied. We'll be right back. 800 yards worth. Sean Moore has rushed for three touchdowns and threw one to Herman Moore. Georgia Tech scored three touchdowns in the third quarter. His ball. 11 minutes left, third and six, Georgia Tech. An emphatic fake, and a sideline pass, and a catch by Emmett Merchant. It's a foot race. Merchant scores, but wait a minute. Hold on a minute. Yeah. Well, we'll get a look at it right here. Jones may have overthrown the last receiver, but he puts this one right where he has to. His receiver goes up and gets it. Now watch Merchant, see if he steps on that line. Uh, well, the official's right there. He's got the view, so communications, I think, are back, but they're still screwy. First down, William Bell. Really surging in the second half. Third down and nine from the 28. Quarterback draw with Jones. It works. First down, Georgia Tech. 12 straight at Scott Stadium, but it's all in danger right now. Here we go, Hoog. Go, Hoog. Third and nine for the Ramblin' Wreck. Out of the end zone. They'll still have a chance to take the lead with Scott Sisson. 33 yards. He splits the sticks, and the Ramblin' Wreck takes the lead. Down a field goal. Sean Moore hands it to Kirby. And Kirby easily has the first down to the 42-yard line. Now under six minutes left. First down for Virginia. They've run it and set up the pass for this play. Herman Moore. Herman Moore to the 40. Gets the block. Here he goes. Herman Moore to the 20. hit the seam he's a seam seeker and then finally broke it big welcome saved the play but then hurt him badly by staying with it and getting the flag first and goal from the five option Moore gets away and hurdles to the two everybody can feel the tension on the field and off Sweeney Kirby and Fisher full house backfield Second and goal, trying to take the lead. Fisher. Didn't get it. 19. The critical guy is the guy in the middle, Kevin Battle. He's got to penetrate. He has got to take Riles and knock him into the backfield right now. Fisher. Didn't get it. Watch 
the push on the line from battle. Already he's back past the line of scrimmage. Now the linebacker's Phil, and he can't get over the top. Look at that, Phil. Because of the pile up down low, he had to start his jump earlier and came up short of the goal line to make it. Second and goal, and there are going to be plenty of flags here. You know, the penalty against Balkum moved the football to the five, and at that point, I thought it was first and goal from the five. And I guarantee you, he's either going to hit the corner or throw a pass here. I'd still rather have it up tight. But he's dangerous here, and there's a man, Herman Moore, a yard short. Three to go. Third and goal from the one. Back across, wide open. Aaron Mundy, touchdown Virginia. There's a flag. There is a flag. No touchdown. Score on this play. Will George Welsh go for the field goal to tie it? Or will he go for the win? 244 left. Third and goal from the six. left 22 yards McInerney to tie it and he does 38 all Lofting it across the bell. And here comes Tech right away near midfield. Mosby to the left. Lester to the right. William Bell straight ahead into Virginia territory. Ball's loose. Or was he down? Of Virginia. Was it a fumble? Well, here's another look at it. There's the hit. There's the ball. It's loose. That's a fumble. Clearly that should have been fumble. Virginia's football. Yeah, but maybe Georgia Tech recovered. It looks like he had. Play clock is at two. Jones has Lester down to the 20. Tech's going to be set up to win this game. In fact, a tie would really, in essence, do that anyway. And that's where we're at right now, 38 all. <laughs> 49,000 watching. So is every college football fan in the land. A lot hinges on this one. From 37 yards. Sisson. Yes! All the excitement, all of the emotion. 